So in the minute, we're doing a bit of bongo cooking. Got some stewed steak out of a tin. It's nothing I've made. I'm not, uh, I'm not a real cook. I tend to open tins. So this is stewing steak. And this is being cooked on my little Smeb cooker that I got off eBay. And I've got a pan of potatoes down there and I'm, I'm swapping. Just hold that camera. Just talking to Jenny, my wife, she's with me. I'm just swapping over now. The stewing steak's gone. Because I've only got one burner. So I've got to keep swapping over to keep things warm. So what I've done, I've got my taters warm first. And then I've put my stewing steak on and got that warm. Now I'll put my taters back on just to warm them up again. And these are being cooked on this, as I say, oh, just need to trip over, on this little smeb cooker. And this is a, a little roundy cook kitchen unit in my bongo that, uh, that I made. Right, so I'll swap back again now. The taters have warmed up and I'm just fine. Oh, look, get some bubbles in the meat. Ooh, look at that lovely stuff. And what we're going to be doing, got a little table here. And uh, I made this, I didn't make the table, I made the paintwork on it. So that's the back of me van. And Jenny's sitting there ready to have lunch. So now I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to dish this up. What I've done now, I've, I've emptied the meat out of the pan onto the plate. And then I emptied the, the water out of the potatoes into the fry pan to give you a bit of a wash look. And then here it is now, potatoes in stewing steak, look on me, and she's got potatoes in stewing steak, and she, she always has a bit of brown sauce, look. She likes a bit of brown sauce. Now then. Hey up! This is me now, having me me potatoes in me, uh, me stewing steak. Hang on. Oh, cooked a treat, that is. If you're out in your camper van and you want a nice hot meal, tin taters, tin stewing steak, just the job. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you what, look, my plate's empty, her plate's empty, definitely the way she's enjoyed that. <laughs> that is definitely bongo cooking. We have some as nice as that for your lunch and uh, that's good stuff, and I don't know if we can see out through front window. Yeah, we can, look. There's a guy out there, and he's sailing a yacht, remote-controlled yacht. Look at the size of it. Uh, so we've had a, a nice entertaining lunch watching him sail his yacht. This is, this is what having a bongo is all about. Going out on an ordinary day, you're not anywhere from home. We're just about an hour from home, and we come out, we've had our lunch, with some entertainment. Wait, what, what we've got to do now is wash up. So, in my little sink, I'm going to set some, some washing up stuff going, and I'm going to wash up. So, I'll catch you after I've done that. Right, the washing up's done. I'm not going to show, I didn't video that, because you all know what, what that's like. Now the kettle's on now, ready for our brew. And in our van, we got all sorts. What sort of coffee are you going to have, Jan? I think I'll have a black Nescafe. Oh, very good. And Bob, what kind of coffee are you going to have? I'm going to have an espresso, because we have all sorts of different coffees in our van. Not only that, we're going to have an Audi biscuit with it. And you know what they say about Audi? Yeah, pay less and live something else. <laughs> Okay, so bongo in. I've got my espresso. Jan's got her black nest cafe. Now, what I did in my bongo, I took the back seat out and the seat if it was here in the front, I've wheeled to the back and the reason I did that is because it's got a split in it. So I can use the split seat. And then I built this kitchen and this has got round doors. 
so as to give us a bit more leg room. Do you see the leg room, the floor space that's there? So look, it's nice round, roundy, half roundy. Got a bit of a knife draw going on. And then uh, it's got a little push catches, and I just got all stuff stuck stuffed in it as you do in these vans. So that's my little cooker unit. And then this is where we are. Look at this. We're an hour from home and we've just come out for lunch. Now then people right over there, they're not walking on water. There's a walkway going all the way round. We're up at West Kirby end up on the Wirral. So it looks like when you look over there they're walking on water but they're not. The tide's out. As you can see. That's the estuary going up. Going up inland. And, uh, and here's the bongo. I've got the aero body kit on it. Uh, just got it about a year ago and it was just such a nice looking motor that uh, I had to buy it and in the back we've got uh, a quarter of the under the blanket and as I say we've got, got the, still got the split seats because what I did took the other seat out you just take these, this bit of plastic off and then you can get the runners and uh, See this, this thing here, this just pops off, and there's a big bolt there, well there's four of them, one on each leg, and you just unbolt it, lift the seat out, and then the runners, the runners come out after, dead easy job to do, but I had a look on YouTube and there didn't know how to take a seat out of a bongo, so I just did it myself. This is my camel bag, Jenny made this, she knitted it. And what it does, it just puts your rubbish in it, just bits of paper. Not real rubbish, just, you know, bits of paper and stuff. And uh, on a really windy day, you can put it on your head. Keep your ears warm. But it just hangs over the back seat. That's why you can walk to, isn't it, when you when yeah. drive out in that island over there. Yeah, that island over there, when the tide's out, right out, you can actually walk over to it. I've never done it, it's too far. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but it's up on the Whirl. But this is us, we've had our lunch. This is the front of me bongo. Now we're going to go have a little ride. You should be doing this, not me. This is today's meal in our bongo camper van. Bongo cooking. Right, today's cooking in the bongo was a bit of a cheat. We bought some uh, fish and chips and we got some bread which is uh, a tiger's paw from Morrison's and this is our meal for today and we're at actually the other side of rail. We're sat on the coast and uh, we're about to have a bongo meal. Fish and chips from Rail, North Wales. We're on our second day out. Yesterday we were up the Wirral cooking potatoes in steak. Today we're having fish and chips. Beautiful. Right, now then, 
we've, uh, we've had our fish and chips. We didn't do any cooking today, look. We bought it instead. They say we've had fish and chips. We've had tiger's poor bread. Now here's the thing. <laughs> when we was in Morrison's, look. No, when you were. When we was in Morrison's. Look what we got. Ooh, lovely. Lovely cream cakes. Cream cake. Can't get it out of the bag. Cream cake selection. Cool. Now here's some I cooked earlier in my bongo camper van. Right, there they are. Don't they look absolutely yummy dummy? Look out, Tommy. Jenny's out here feeding the birds. Don't be getting any wind noise on here, probably. It's a bit of a breezy day. That is right up there in the distance is real town centre, real in North Wales. We're sort of down in Prestatin area. And you will not see this, but there's windmills out there. Not windmills, wind farm. But it's a bit too windy, you'll probably get a load of wind noise on the camera. Right, we've been watching these. Yeah, we've been watching these birds out here, rooting around in the rocks. They'd be getting something out of there, look. Crustaceans of some sort. Quite interesting watching them while we've been having lunch. Right, we've had lunch, Janny and I. We've had our chips, and today. Johnny's having a black coffee, Nescaf. Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. I'm having a black coffee, Nescaf, today. I don't fancy a espresso. espresso. But yeah, we've had a second day out now. Been very nice. And today I'm playing my iPod through my radio. So I bought myself a new radio because when I got this, it had a Japanese. Uh, thing in it which didn't really work so uh, this radio here I can play my iPod very nice Jan has this book and she does drawings where places we go and the last time we were here that, that right over there, we're not going to see it really. But that's Lan Dudno. And she did it in, a, in this book. Now she's... Uh, <laughs> that was our bottle of wine last time we were here. She's just adding a bit to the Lan Dudno picture now. Right, so that's lunch done. And this is us in our camper van. I had two cream cakes. Jam was very, very well behaved. She only had the one. <laughs> right, so into the old reverse. The bongo beeper. Right. I'll do it again. I'll do it right She's gonna do, gonna do a drawing when she gets. You can do it now. Drawing. I'm just writing something. Oh, right. You're all moving, so I can't do it. Oh, I didn't know you was writing something. John, just to hold that out of the window. I've got a flat roof on my bongo. I don't have one of them eye tops, so it allows me to go under these barriers. <laughs> 